Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? Take it away, Fergie! major event would be complete without its own national anthem guys so that's the national anthem for this episode because this is a very special episode guys we are going to spotlight Rodin the brand new hero in Soul Hunters and this was a special different kind of hero because they had a, a week-long event to get him if you guys already know so I'm going to go ahead today is the day that we log in for you have to log in seven days in a row so this is day seven Booyakasha! so you log in there and then the other part was you had to collect 330 of these battle chocolates to be able to collect this one too as well. So boom, there we go guys. I have 80 pieces of Rodent there. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and summon Rodent and let's see what this guy is all about guys. So check it out, the Ruthless Mercenary Rodent. This looks sick and Rodan, Rodan the man. This guy looks like he could be one of my new favorite hero guys. Check it out. Two axes? Woohoo! Yes! Okay, let's go ahead. Let's find him really quickly, guys. We're going to do our usual thing. I'm going to automatically get him to level 100 there. And I'm just going to fuse him real quick, boys. What the? What the? No! Alright, here we go. Fusion! Oh, shoot. Oh, this is so much faster. If you just click on the fusion, guys, he automatically goes without waiting. Yee-hee. I'm only going to wait for orange, orange plus one, and orange plus two, just so you guys can kind of look at the items that he needs on these stages if you are in this part of the game. You know, level 90, 95, and so. All right, so check it out. Level orange plus two, I mean, level 100, orange plus two. You get him at three stars already. Let's give him everything else. Booyah! Booyah! And all set! Equipment is done! That's it, boys. Equipment is all finished out. Now, next part is abilities. I want to check out what his abilities are. Is Oh my god! There's an awakening as well! This is phenomenal. Oh, I can't wait to awaken Rodin. Woo! Okay, let's begin with his ultimate. That's where everything begins, with the ultimate. War Cry. Rodin unleashes a battle cry to energize his teammates, increasing the movement speed and attack speed of all allies by 25%. As well as boosting magic and what? Whoa! Um, is he the new Lingling? Certainly not as fine, not as beautiful as Lingling, but whoa, that's a pretty good support ultimate, guys. Attack speed and physical and magic attack, very nice. All right, Axe Storm throws three spinning axes, dealing physical damage over a large area. Uh, DPS attack. All right. Mighty Slash! Rodin uses his huge axe to slash a nearby enemy. Okay, another DPS attack. Adrenaline. Oh, what is this? With adrenaline flowing through his veins, Rodin greatly increases his attack speed. Alright, passive ability, guys. So you will not be able to see this. So increase attack speed by 21% at level 1? Oh, that's a lot. That's a pretty sick improvement, guys. So does this mean he's just going to be fast, attacking really fast? And then let's take a look at his awakened ability here. Rodin attacks are guaranteed to hit enemies who are uh, sufficiently close. Hmm, what does sufficiently close even mean? And the attack deal extra damage. All right. So uh, if there are a certain range within range, I guess they will never miss. So if they're too close to him, I guess with arm lengths away, he will never miss. That's a really good ability there because facing some heroes that are hard to hit is tough. So this can actually come in handy once he's awakened. So <sighs> most of these abilities are not the best, guys. I love Adrenaline. This is a pretty good attack speed increase. That's a large amount. And I love Warcry. So other than those two, Mighty Slash and Axe Storm seem like okay. Depending on how much they're going to deal, we're going to have to test it out. 
So let me go ahead, get these to level 6 right now, so we can take them to a campaign battle and try them out and see what Rodan is all about. So let's go ahead, guys, to the campaign. All right, guys, so this is the part where we slow everything down and I break down his abilities for you really slowly. So before we begin, I'm going to break down his fourth ability, which is Adrenaline, as we talked earlier. It's a passive ability, so that's why it's passive throughout the battle. You will not see it activated at any point but it simply just in, uh, increases his um, attack speed all right so that's his fourth ability it's a really nice increase which i really enjoy i like it but that's you know passive ability throughout the battle now first active ability that you see is axe storm his second ability uh he starts off throws three spinning axes dealing physical damage over a large area so as you can see here he's hitting four enemies there which is a pretty you know it's a pretty nice ability to hit that many heroes with just a basic um, you know, axe throw. There's three axes, but it hits more than three heroes, which is sick. Uh, I'm already thinking raids right now, guys. Could be definitely useful in raids with this ability here. So it's just gonna do a damage. If it does a lot of damage with just this ability, it's worth it right there. But let's go ahead, let's continue on. So that's his second ability that we took a look at. We looked at four. Now, this over here is Mighty Slash, his third ability. Uh, uses his axe to uh, slash a nearby enemy. Uh, another very basic ability, guys. Just gonna slash down his enemy. Uh, most likely, it's gonna be the first unit in front of you. Nothing in the back. So, whoever he sees in the front there is gonna slash. As you can see there, he hit that uh, Mohawk shield guy there. So, first three abilities are really easy to understand. You don't really need to. You know, you don't really uh, need to slow down the battle to really understand these. But I just wanted to show you guys how they work. Nothing extremely complicated. Uh, um, now, pretty soon I will be going into his ultimate here, which we'll see. This is part of what makes him, you know, really, really attractive here. And uh, this is Warcry. Increases movement speed and attack speed of all allies by 25%. And then temporarily increases physical and magic attack. This is why really, uh, you know, intrigues me with uh, Rodan here. Really intrigued by this ability because 25% of attack speed and movement speed is a large increase right away to some heroes. Some heroes are already really, really fast, guys. With a, this kind of increase, makes them even faster. So that's interesting right there. And then the temporarily increase in physical and magic attack, that's really cool. And as you can see now, his axes are doing a lot more damage just because of that increase. So right away, just because of his ultimate, that's the intriguing part about Rodan. Just like Ling Ling, as I said before, you know, you don't really even need to slow down the battle sequence to understand how his abilities are going to pan out in raids and all that stuff. It definitely could be even useful in the arena. I mean, once he gets this ultimate off, your team is going to be that much better. Any type of increase is good. As you can see here, I go into a crazy uh, ultimate. It gives both my heroes a haste, and then they just go berserk. They just go crazy and start doing their normal attacks but at a faster rate 25 percent faster rate is a great increase in attack speed but then he gets turned into a sheep so it's useless but yeah guys that's pretty much all you really need to know about oh road in here uh seems aoe damage plus single target damage increase attack speed for himself and then war cry will increase attack speed movement speed and physical and magic attack of your whole team that is all you really need to know about road in right now and then we'll break down his awakening when it comes time to it but pretty much for now that's all you really need to know that's how he performs in battle guys now use your imagination and how you think you can use them all right so there's the battle sequence for you guys so you guys can kind of take a look at how he battles but final opinion on Ronan, guys he might be the new lingling guys literally this war cry ability seems incredible it really does seem really really good you won't know for sure until I finalize, you know, get it to level 100 and see exactly the boost that everybody's going to get. But damn, that seems really cool. Oh, <sighs> wow. And it won't be for a while until he can surpass Ling Ling, I don't think. And maybe not for every situation either. Maybe just for a certain situation because he seems to be like Ling Ling with DPS. So he's Ling Ling with damage dealing and Ling Ling is more of a healer as well. So that's the difference. Axe Storm... Mighty Slash are decent, Adrenaline, passive, you can't see it. And this one is going to be uh, more, you know, a bigger boost to himself because he will not miss and they're going to be doing more damage. So it just seems to be a little bit bigger of a boost to all his stats. But other than Warcry, 
That's the only thing you would why you would use Rodent for, guys, is to f greatly increase his, your, you know what I mean, your team's magic and physical attack, which is a really key ingredient to a lot of Hall of Legends, a lot of raids. As you guys already know, Ling Ling is important for all those. She's pretty much a must-have hero in the game. Could Rodent be the next must-have hero in the game? We'll find out. We'll wait and see, all right? Um, but like I said before, I really enjoyed this event. I thought it was a great event. Uh, it wasn't magnificent or like that, but it was pretty sick. I love having to, uh, you know, having to do a few different adventures to get a hero. Even though you still have to pay like two bucks to get him, I'm willing to support the game uh, for two bucks. That doesn't matter. But, you know, fighting in the arena to get chocolates and then you can exchange your chocolates for Rodin. I love that. Signing in to get them as well. So a bunch of different situations. It's different than just pulling them out of a box. Pulling heroes out of a box has its attraction, has its appeal, but you want something different after a while, alright? But So that's my spotlight for Rodin, guys. Quick, short, and to the point. I will let you guys know a lot more once I have them all finished off. Uh, you know what I mean? Once it's enhanced and then all his abilities are finished off, I will definitely let you guys know in the streams how I think, you know, what else I think about Rodin. But first impressions are really nice, guys. I think this guy could definitely be very useful in a lot of um, raids and a lot of Hall of Legends, to be quite honest. For sure. I mean, who who doesn't need a magic and a physical increase? You know what I mean? Everybody can use that. But I'm going to end this off for here, guys. I will check you guys out in the next Soul Hunters Awakening video. I mean... But I will end this right here, guys. I will check you guys out in the next Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, guys.